What's good YouTube, it's one of my own coming to another video in today's video. We're going to be going over how we could see Ken Carson's upcoming project, More Chaos, drop very soon, all right? Let's get into it. So as many of you guys do know, Ken Carson's upcoming project, More Chaos, is the next body of work we can expect from him. We basically found that out the day the AGC Deluxe dropped because everybody thought the AGC Deluxe was going to be titled More Chaos. We all thought More Chaos was going to be the AGC Deluxe, and then there was going to be some separate new body of work, new name for his next album, right? But the next album we could expect is More Chaos, and the AGC Deluxe was simply just five extra songs to the AGC project, right? We found that out the day actually the AGC Deluxe dropped because he said, but wait, there's more. AGC Deluxe dropped on the 4th of July. A couple minutes after midnight, bro posted on Twitter, but wait, there's more, and obviously that being More Chaos, right? More Chaos is the next body of work we can expect from Ken, and a lot of people are saying that we could see it in Halloween, right? Because it came from Ken. Ken basically said, yo, I'm dropping on Halloween. So somebody asked him after one of his shows in the US, like somebody was like, yo, Ken, when could we see more chaos, right? This is what he said. Hey, Halloween. 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 It, now it's clipped to where it's only saying Halloween, but somebody asked him, yo, Ken, when could we see more chaos? He says Halloween. And then obviously just being a Ken Carson fan, you know, October is always a dumb active month for Ken, right? We got extended, I believe in 2022. Last year, we got obviously AGC in October, right? And then AGC is gonna be its one year in October. So why not drop another project? Ken, in my opinion, is like the rookie of the year in terms of the mainstream, the rising star, like he's really lit. He's turned, we all know how big Ken got. Ken is like stupid lit right now. So why not keep his foot on the gas pedal one year later, after AGC drops, he toured AGC, I don't know, 50, 60 cities already. He did all of the US. He's doing Europe right now. He has a second leg for the rest of the year. Why not keep your foot on the gas and drop another project when you're dumb lit like Ken, right? So that's why we're expecting this Halloween one year of AGC. And then it is looking like it could go down because Ken Carson, the AGC account, this is the real AGC account right here, as you guys can see. He said 2024 on a recent snippet that Vault of Ken posted. So this snippet's going around, it's called Delusional. And apparently uh, this is the music video for it as well. So it's a music video snippet with a new snippet called Delusional. And it's 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's going crazy, bro. So that's basically a music video snippet for a snippet called Delusional. So if Ken is cooking up visuals, the AGC account says 2024. Ken Carson himself said October. October is obviously an active month for Ken Carson. He's dumb lit right now. I think Ken actually stated in an interview, like if he had the choice to drop, 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 like drop frequently, he can basically go on young boy timing and just drop project after project after project. So why not do that, right? But my only concern with that is that Ken is gonna be on tour till November, I believe, till November, mid-November is when his tour ends because he's on European tour right now. It's basically a European tour and then he's gonna do the second leg of the US tour. So it's September all the way through the end of November. So if people are talking about an October release date, a Halloween release date, why would he drop in the middle of his tour, right? That would land on October 31st right here. He's gonna be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin the day the album drops, right? And then the rest of the shows he's gonna be in Omaha, Nebraska, uh, Chesterfield, Missouri, Nashville. Like in my opinion, it's cool. He's gonna be on the second leg. Like a second leg is just kind of to hit like the smaller cities, do a smaller type show. If your tour is successful in the first leg, why not do a second leg and make more money, right? So obviously I get why he's doing the second leg, but why is he gonna drop a whole project within the second leg, right? Because this is gonna be his most anticipated project, right? We've seen how big AGC blew up like Ken. In my opinion, I think AGC really solidified Ken in the mainstream and really, I think, like triple to quadruple his fan base, right? We see the venues he's doing. We see the pool he has for concerts. He's not doing these little baby 500,000 people show, right? He's pulling in real numbers, real people. And the biggest measure of success as an artist, in my opinion, is how much tickets can you sell? How much are people willing to pay money to see you, right? And if you have the demand to do that, that shows how lit you are as an artist, right? So Ken, he's dumb lit. This is gonna be his most anticipated project. AGC sold like what? I think it was 49, so basically 50K. The Deluxe seven songs, I believe, sold like 20, 19K. Seven song Deluxe selling anything is insane, right? So the project is gonna be mad hype. He's gonna sell, in my opinion, 65 minimum, right? So why not capitalize off that and go tour if you're gonna tour? Go back to the major cities to where you can get the most pool and sell the most tickets, basically make the more money, right? New York, Atlanta, 
LA, Miami, right? Those type cities, right? Not like Milwaukee or Omaha or Chesterfield or Nashville or Alabama, right? Like these aren't really big hip hop powerhouse cities in my opinion. So that's why it's a little weird towards this October drop because he's going all the way from September all the way through the end of November, right? He's going to Riverside, like why not come to Hollywood or like Anaheim, right? So I don't really know about an October release date in my opinion. Maybe he is gonna drop in October and you know, perform it in all of these smaller cities and maybe announce another tour with major cities. I don't really know about that, but an October release date seems a little awkward in my opinion because of the place he's gonna be at within his tour, right? And I do think this project is gonna drop this year, right? Because he said 2024 for this snippet, so we could expect this music video to drop within this year. He's been previewing music like crazy. We got a new uh, karaoke. This is an old snippet, but he previewed karaoke in New York right there. Um, he previewed another one right here, Narcotics. And also what I've noticed is that Ken is diving really deep into like this distorted bag, right? AGC was like really distorted, but these new snippets like Narcotics and the one with the lamb, he's really diving deep into that sound. So I think that's what we could expect with more chaos. And honestly, I feel like he could kind of do like a no stylist type of project where one project is two sounds, right? No stylist, the first half was trap, the second half was like that guitar slash slower side. So I think Ken can do that with more chaos, right? Because he could give us those songs that he's been previewing like Narcotics, this music video right here where it's that really distorted. This is like Freestyle 2, Me and My Cup, uh, Fighting My Demons, like on another level in my opinion, right? Why not give us that sound? And then the second half, why not dive deep into this uh, more chaos, loading, I need you. This is like a fun, softer to the ear. I feel like if he could do like, I don't really expect Morecast to be a big project. He can make it a big project because he has the pool. It's gonna sell numbers, right? If he could do 25 songs, it's gonna have pools. It's gonna have a lot of streams. You notice like when a lot of these up and coming rappers are really hot, they wanna capitalize it, make a big album. Lone did that with the Flicks and Kill. He always does that. Multiple songs equals more streams, equals more money, basically like that. But like I said, Ken can make a big project with 20 songs, maybe like that. But in my opinion, I feel like Morecast could be like a dope, 18 20 songs 10 like that crazy distorted next level sound he's been putting out and then maybe why not dive deep into these i need you more chaos thing more slower cliff shane type beats i think that would be pretty dope it really feeds like every type of ken sound and that really is kind of like what he did on project x right project x was like half of the lit turn and then he had that hyper pop sound so maybe he might do that on more chaos apparently some snippets are confirmed he said that back on twitter wow so let's see what goes down with this more chaos project in my opinion, I don't really see it dropping within the middle of his second leg. Maybe like December, he lets the project sit for a couple months and then goes like on another tour spring 25 in my opinion but that's basically everything we know regarding ken carson's more chaos project it seems to be dropping in 2024 he's cooking up music videos right here been playing new snippets at all the new concerts he's going on tour for the rest of the year which is crazy five month tour sold out tour is nuts he said it's dropping on halloween take it with a grain of salt i don't really believe that theory and yeah more chaos should be on the way let me know your guys thoughts on the project of more chaos one when can we see more chaos drop? Two, is there gonna be snippets on this project? What snippets do you guys want? And three, what type of project? Do you think he's gonna do a half like half lit, those crazy AGC songs like on crack? And then that second half be like the AGC deluxe. Let me know what type of sound you guys think he's leaning towards, but that's gonna be the video right there. If you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Somebody may or is it and I'm out. Thank you guys.